All right, what's going on, everybody? Brian back with another live stream. And uh, today we're going to be jumping back in and continuing our playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. Now, last episode, um, I don't even think we did a main story mission, to be honest with you guys. We, uh, we were getting just lost in these side quests. Like, the side quests in this game are so good. So good. Um, so I got a couple of missions that we're going to fi finish off real quick. Uh, I believe this is the... That's the Demeter's facility. Um, but yeah, so we unlocked or we went up here. We had to um, visit the Sky Clan or whatever, and they were hiding behind their wall. We ended up blowing their wall down, got them to cooperate. Now they're going to be sending their people down, and we're going to come down here, and there's going to be some kind of right that happens in this arena that you guys can see here uh where people have to fight machines and earn their place as marshal so we're gonna eventually get down there do that uh but yeah i want to come up here really quick check out this side quest and um see what that's all about and i think there was a wasn't there one more side quest i wanted to see yeah there was one over here that i want to scope out really quick and uh then we'll head over and check out that main mission but how's everybody doing tonight Been looking forward to it. Oh man, I've been I've been looking forward to this. All right, so let's get in here really quick. I lost my mount, so we are gonna have to get our hands on another uh, charger at some point. Now we haven't been up in here since we blew the wall up, so I don't know how these people are gonna accept us. Might be a lot of people talking crap. So I think this is episode what eight. Seven or eight. If we want to reclaim our honor, then we must do so in battle with Regala. When the decision the outlander has shown us. Come. And yeah, now there's actually a bunch of side quests in here. Holy crap. So one's up there. Yeah, I've been absolutely loving the side quests in this game. Sure cannot have had a Menard It's not even me, Gatsby. Ah, she who shakes the mountain returns. Have a word with this old chaplain. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotella was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower. One we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Takote another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. All right, that sounds fairly simple. But nothing, uh, none of these quests end up being fairly simple from what we've seen so far. My brother will make it. What's going on here? The wall breaker. Damn. We, Jekka's brother here wants We got all kinds of names. Killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka! Lataka! 
to your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier! I'm coming, I'm coming. Pento, you better stay safe. All right. So there was that mission, and then we have one more that I believe is up higher. Everybody's talking about us. Can I ask what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong <laughs> word. Ha! Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain top. The Stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountain top. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one like Oh shit. Here. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt. But unless you want to try what Freka did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. I'm telling you, she flew. First to fly. Okay, so we just got our hands on um, some new side quests and some new errands. So I don't see this first to fly. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's on hold. Um, on hold until the wings of the 10 has been completed. I don't know what that means, but okay. All right. What are we going to start with, guys? Um. So this is the March of the 10. But brutal challenge... All right, let's go check this out. Let's go check on this girl's brother. Let me see, where's the start of the climb? Okay, so we got to leave out the base. Now we could check the map. We're gonna see if there's any um, chargers in the area or bristlebacks. Something that I can override. And uh, look at that! Boom! Charger sight right there. We'll we'll stop over there. We'll get ourselves a new mount really quick. I am gonna miss my my bristleback. That thing was awesome. It was huge. Emo, how you doing tonight? Start of the climbs right there. Judging by these markers, 
That climbing trail Jekka talked about must be nearby. Jose Albino donated ten dollars. Just here. sending some love your way. Dude, thank you so much, Jose. I really appreciate you, man. How you doing today? Oh, we just found three gold ingots. This is a hell of a climb. Holy crap. Telling you the in this game, not even just this game, in the first one too, a lot of these clans have some really, really harsh challenges. The way that wind picked up, there's bound to be an avalanche. What that person looks like they're in charge. I should talk to them. Well, Breaker, if you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the mountain, along with two others. Pento was the only one who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, he's got most of it backwards. So what? You're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. Why is everyone so sure this Pentaw can't climb that mountain? Our people are soldiers. We respect strength and agility. Pento has neither. Never has. He's been stuck on cleaning duty since he was a child. Yet he decided to undergo our clan's most difficult trial on his own. And you think he's crazy for trying? I'm not a fan of that word. When I chose to wear a woman's armor, people called me crazy too. I guess Pento just feels like he has to prove himself. To show who he really is. I understand. Believe me. But that climb is hard enough, even without a storm. What is this march you mentioned? This is one of the toughest slopes in Sky Clan territory. It's said that the Ten climbed this mountain in pairs during their war against machines. Our people partner up to earn their soldiers' marks by following in the Old One's footsteps and retrieving the Blood Crest, a flower that grows on the summit. Until Pento, that is. He insisted on climbing on his own. You mean no one wanted to climb up with him? I tried to stop him, but there were technically no rules against it, so I let him pass. That sounds familiar. The Nora have a similar ritual. No one wanted me in that one either. Their mistake, I presume? Yep. I could try following the path up the mountain. See if I can find Pentaw. You said there were two other climbers missing as well? Just one. The other is right there. Zika! Rocco and I, we were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I, I couldn't see anything. Someone's got to go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. I'll be back. There we go. Are you wounded? If the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus to find those climbers. I should follow the markers. They'll lead me to the start. This will be in my stash when I need it. I said it's a pretty good storm.
Oh, I'm finding a lot of gold up here. I'm on the right track. They're machines? You want some of this? Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. That Tanox needs help. Oh shit, that's a, a stalker, dude. Whoever you are, thanks for the assist. Oh, good shot, dude. I think it's shoot. Weapons off. Gotta get to it. Now it's melee only. Got it. You okay? Not really, but I'll live. Your climbing partner. She said you got separated during an avalanche? My partner? Yeah. The avalanche caught us off guard. Swept me up like a twig. I was sure I was a goner. Then someone grabbed hold of me and pulled me out. It was Penta. He risked his life for me. Did you see where he went? Up that cliff behind you. Said he was gonna finish the climb. I told him it was suicide. But he wouldn't listen. Can you make it back down on your own? Yes. You're not going after him, are you? Go. Get back to Wakata before the storm gets any worse. May the ten be with you. There it is! I gotta have to find Penta before he gets himself killed. I mean, it sounds like the kid's over here saving lives. Aloy's taking this one personal because she, she knows what it feels like to be an outcast. I should use my focus to pick up Pinto's trail. Those must be Pinto's tracks. Let's hope I can catch up to him. The avalanche destroyed most of the climbing path. It's a pretty good storm, holy crap. 
The missing soldier must have climbed up this way. Hmm. This is like a good pinto made it past here. The path must have collapsed after him. Maybe I can glide across. Pick up Pinto's tracks again. Got him. Looks like Pinto climbed this cliff. Looks like he's up there fighting some machines. Unstable. I don't think I'll be able to go up the same way he did. Get out of my way! Let's hope that's Pinto. He sounds like a Chad. We could use some help. Who's there? A friend. That thing kicked the shit out of me. This kid looks like a warrior to me. Scan this area. Let's grab up this. All this stuff real quick. Maybe said enough. I have a feeling this kid's gonna have some cool stuff to say. Who are you? You don't look to knock. Penta? Do I know you? Wakata sent me. Yeah, he looks like. Well, what do you mean? He looks like a warrior? No. I'm not going back there as a failure. I am getting that flower no matter what. Look. I know what it's like when your tribe looks down on you, but you... Then you understand why I'm either going to get to the top of this mountain or die on it. Thank you. What are you doing? This climb is meant to be done by two people, right? I'll be your partner. I'll follow your lead. There it is. Here, take this. Looks like the trail carries on here. I thought you might want some ammo. I'm leaving. You know my name, but I don't think I caught yours. It's Aloy. You sure you want to involve yourself with the Bulwark's biggest loser, Aloy? I like to make my own judgments about people. I mean, you know, we're the wall breaker. It's not like everyone can be. What was that? I don't know. Maybe it's just the wind. 
I have a feeling we're gonna have to fight some crazy shit, aren't we? It's a dead end. There's a climbing spike left over from the original path. Not that it's of much use right now. Sorry. Yeah, I can make that. That was amazing. I'll knock this tree down. It should let Don't us reach the climbing leads, path. But I'll wait till you won't hear me complaining. Found something? No. Now we can jump onto the wall from here. We should be able to jump onto that climbing path from the tree. That's some climbing gear you've got. Thanks. It's time to start climbing. That doesn't sound like any storm wind I've ever heard. Almost there. How are we gonna have to fight here, this dude? Is it? I can't believe we actually made it. Let's get to that summit then. Oh my god, are you serious? So this, um, if you guys played the original Horizon Forbidden West and you stopped there and you never played the DLC, you actually would have never met this machine. Um, this was a DLC machine uh, called the Frost Claw, and they're pretty, they're pretty awesome. Now they're they're not super, they're not the most dangerous version. There, there was actually a hunter killer version that was made that was a fire claw, and those things were absolutely brutal. So, just really quick. Yeah, this was in the Horizon um, Frozen Wilds DLC, where this machine was introduced. We can handle it. Come on. Where's the ammo, dude? It's not going to remove armor. A little vulnerable to fire. Yeah, we can get a burning.
It's actually kind of hard to dodge that attack. Ah! Okay, got him on fire. Got it. We got it. Damn. Come on. This way, Aloy. Wait up. Let's say, dude, I gotta loot this thing, man. There it is, guys. Frost Claw. I didn't scan the damn thing, though. <laughs> I didn't scan it. So I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be in our book, is it? You see, please gave it. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I don't think it's going to give it to me. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, and without Shield Weaver, yeah? Yeah, it's true. I did have the OP Shield Weaver armor the first time I went up against uh, Frost Claws. I mean, we don't even have remotely a quarter of the arsenal we had when we went up against the Frost Claws, realistically. I had all the weapons unlocked. Hunter Lodge weapons at that. Using up. So, how does it feel to make rank? Pretty great, actually. This. this means everything to me. You know, even if you go back with that, it doesn't mean they'll treat you any different. Honestly, I think. I just need to prove to myself I could do this. You should go back. Let the others know I'm okay. I'd like to take a moment, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. Of course. Thank you. I don't know, Pat. Do, do, do we have face paint? I could check. Oh, uh, let me see here. I did see something about face paint. I don't know how to equip it though. If that if that's actually a thing, does anybody know? I already I already unlocked some. I don't I don't know how to to use it though. Bro, oh, when I helped that one group I think I unlock some. Reach the bottom of the trail faster if I use my shield ring. Get a nice view too. Everything looks. 
looks so peaceful now that the storm has passed. What do you mean the storm has passed? I'm, I can't see. Aloy. Is it in the bulwark? Oh, we'll check him out. Yeah, now that the storm has passed my ass. That mountain was really high, though. Holy crap, dude. That was a hell of a glide right there. And we're still going. I should be reaching the bottom of the trail soon. Pedro can't be far behind. Complete a long glide. There it is. Right there, Caspi. There's everyone. That's that plat, dude. That's that plat. Outlander. He got himself killed, didn't he? Don't say that. Aloy, you return alone. Where is he? He's my brother. You can't go crying like that, Jekka. You're the sister of a proper soldier now. Bento. Ow. I bring you the blood crest as proof of my march. And with my blessing, you join our ranks. May you find your path on the wings of the Ten. You've got to be kidding me. Him? A soldier? Please. Flower or no flower, we all know all he'll ever be good for is cleaning everyone's sh- There it is. I think we're done here. Better put some snow on that, or it'll bruise. Thanks for saving my life. Maybe when I get my old soldier's mark, we can fight in the same squad. Give me a chance to return the favor. He's cute. Go on. I'll catch up. Here. Something to commemorate our climb. May the Ten always grant you victory, Aloy. I'll see you around, Pento. All right, there it is. Here I come. See, we just unlocked another face paint. So we actually have to go to a, what people are saying, a face painter to get it put on. Bulwark should be right up over here. Right. He has claws and shrimp. Shit. Let's see. Face painter, face painter, face painter. Oh, they got the melee pit here, too. We're going to do that. We'll do that melee pit real quick. I don't see a face painter, though, guys. Whoa, what is that? Sunwing? You really think ordaining more marshals can make a difference? Has been Defeat teacher rebel as a blood work will grow the Sky Clan United Tribe. You, Outlander, make come and trade. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try out these melee pits here. What's going on here? Close Thank you guys. A hundred likes fighting at long on the stream. I do appreciate that. Machines, but fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Arayo. My brother Varak and I run this training pit. We watched you bring down the bulwark. It made our day to see that arrogant commander so furious. You're welcome to train here, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. 
We also offer challenges for any fighters looking to test their skills. Complete all of them, and you'll go up against me and Varak. What happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. You earn marks from us, and the pit masters in Scalding Spear and Thornmarsh. You'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh trainer. Way more than just that. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? You're no ordinary Outlander. So, what do you say? Let me know if you want to practice in the pit or take on a challenge. Okay, so jump off and shoot. This is what I wanted to learn. So dodge, uh, quickly reposition yourself, gain the upper hand, defeat your opponent with the following combos. Dodge an incoming attack, jump off R1, R2, and shoot your opponent while in the air. <coughs> oh, wrong button. Hit R1, R2. <coughs> oh, I got to hold R2. Good shot. Can't win a battle if you're dead, and distance will keep you alive. I like that. This okay. combination gets you out of trouble and punishes your enemy. Seek and strike. So, um, no enemy is out of your reach. Defeat your opponents by using the following: jump over your first opponent R1, push forward and hold R2. Land a slam attack on your uh, second opponent. Okay, we'll see how this works. Some dying light shit here. I don't see how this is supposed to work. <coughs> so R1 push forward doesn't do anything. It says I'm supposed to R1 and push forward. It's all about practice. <laughs> You'll get there. That's what I thought. Jump, hit the first one, jump over the second one, but no. Oh, maybe I don't have the skill. Another time, maybe. Let me know when you're ready to finish more of your training. Cause yeah, I kept trying to do it. It wasn't. It wasn't doing anything.
I still need to build up. But I, I don't see it. <coughs> All right, either way. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, Drowned Hopes. That was the dig site thing that I thought I couldn't do that because, um, yeah, I couldn't do it because I couldn't swim far enough down underwater. Uh, the old grove. So, I, I, yeah, I got to return for that one. Taste of victory. That's bird eggs. Call and respond. So this watchtower is out this way. Yeah, we got it. Let's do it. Can you plug a PlayStation into a monitor? Yes, um, ammo. I'm playing on a monitor right now on my PlayStation. said the old watchtower should be near the falls. I'm to tell those soldiers to head home. Why don't I... Fights on the lashes. There's the watchtower. I need to talk to their squad leader, Kiva. How are our supplies looking? Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Jera's cracked then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our in subordination things have uh, changed at the bulwark dakota won't be able to stop you really he's finally been taken down a notch all right then the last member of ram squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain let me recall him that's odd as Echo always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Here we go. Try not to break your neck, yeah? Of course. What's going on? We're moving out. Back to the bulwark. Good shit, man. What about his echo? <laughs> Trying to re up my metal cool. Oh, put these in my pack. I wonder what kind of trouble this guy's got into.
This must be the start of the climb. The watchtower should be at the top. I've seen uh, some of the flying machines up there. I already know I'm gonna have to deal with that. Drifters. Yep. Circling the watchtower. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Stuff for the stash. Closer to the watchtower. That's a hell of a climb, dude. Looks like I have to climb higher. I'm just saying, none of us would survive in this day and age with all this climbing. <laughs> Ammo, thank you for hanging out tonight, man. My bristleback got destroyed. Well, at least I know I wouldn't survive with all this climbing. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around. Okay, exposed acid containers. It's good for us. Was an apex sky drifter right there, guys. I wonder why the damn thing was so tanky. He knew exactly where I was. Okay, so that one's got some shock stuff on the back of it. Oh, we got it. Nice. Soldier assigned to this watchtower. Hey, James, I appreciate you popping in, dude. I, I get it, man. I fully understand, dude. Thank you, though. I really appreciate it, man. That must be him. Damn. Man, what did you expect? Kill my stash. An ammo that deals purge water damage is now available in your inventory. What? Judging by these wounds, the sky drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Eva sounded her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. Oh, a bunch of sky drifts. Is under attack. I need to get down there fast. 
Oh, that's a hell of a distance we're covering right there. Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. Clinton Hawks. Blood of the Ten, the Outlander glides. Oh, you dumb. Alright, we got it. Thanks for the assist. Is the Zeko on his way down? Actually, the machines got him. Took him by surprise. I'm sorry. Come on, uh, PS5. This game's only on PS5. He was the first of the squad. And PS4. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Dakota. All we did was go to the embassy. Follow Chief Akaro's orders? A and what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Dakota has a vendetta against the Chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Ah, uh, yes, I did, yeah. Axe. What's going on, man? How you doing? You. Yeah, I got the th triple arrow um, on the hunter bow. We're moving out. Dakota's politics got one of those soldiers killed. But at least the other two get to go home. All right, so that's done. Uh, we do have a food gathering quest. We'll do that later. Let me see. I want to actually turn this quest in really quick. Oh, this oh <laughs> shit. That's so far away. Job, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right tonight. I hear you there, Axe. I hear you there, man. Hopefully everything gets better, dude. Good day. Okay, we're gonna go turn this mission in really quick. A brighter day. Yeah, I keep unlocking face paints, but I haven't found the damn face painter. There's Shale. I should give her the seed pouches I recovered. Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Is it safe to send out another hunting party? It's never going to be completely safe out there, but the Claw Strider is dead. Here, the seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. 
May the land be kind to you. May the land bloom Children, in your spare your... Ugh, it's no good. Take a Welcome moment. to the family, son. There it is, Doug. What's going on, man? How you doing today? With the four months, man. All right, so what's missing? That was the food. Um, yeah, we got some stuff up there we're going to clear later on. But yeah, we'll head down here. I want to see what this... Uh, I'm excited to see how this, this mission goes. Only use face paint in camera mode? Oh, okay. She's with us. Let her pass. Outlander. Chief Akaro and Marshal Catalo await you within. Here we go. So guys, graphically, right? We can you can all see what what this looks like. So I'm going to put it on the 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 ultimate mode. But you guys think this looks pretty good, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go and I'm going to turn on favored rev resolution. So as you guys can see, the frame rate in this in this one is a lot worse. Well, can you guys see a visual difference? Now all I see is the frame skips. <laughs> or the, the 30 frames. Silent, dude. Wish I had been a member for longer for you. But I could get more likes and subs. Hey, man, I appreciate the super chat. And it's fine, dude. It is fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I personally don't think it looks better on resolution mode, only because you can see the difference between 30 and 60 frames. For a second, like, this just looks so smooth, you know what I mean? Alright, let's do it. And we're at 145 likes. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I got a chill water trap. That's what that was. Okay. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And ether. Outland, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. Right. must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. 
Oh, man. Wow, this is way bigger than what I thought. Like, when you see it from the map, like, yeah, it looks it looks like a good size, but it really... It, it goes to show, like, the size comparison and what you guys should be looking at um, when it comes to this game. Because, like, this is way bigger than what I thought. Crusher. I hope you're right. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come from you. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. I'm ready, dude. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by. Boys, thank you so much for the sub. Fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that. The defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove useful. Okay, so we just got some new armor. It's a knock martial armor. It's got nothing on compared to the stats that we're rocking right now. Um But uh it's pretty decent. I don't know. We'll have to see what it looks like upgraded. No room on me. I can send it to my stash. We'll assist Marshal Catalo for guarding the chief. We all have our orders. We'll see the cool route through. Am I not supposed to go that way? The cool route will start as soon as the chief. We'll assist Marshal Catalo with guarding the chief. The butt. Here we go. Honor and strength. Let the challengers the play. Marshal the Marshal shall ward that can't face. Kurt, thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, we're just not supposed to go that way. Yeah, so I'm nowhere near even being able to upgrade this anyways. But at level one, like I said, it's it's yeah. It's meh. These machines, they're not Okay, so nothing needs to be upgraded. We're good to go. Honor the fallen 
Marshall. And or this will the be memorial a ceremony with fall. your blade no, amongst us. Celebrate skill <laughs> and courage. I hear you got new armor. Mr. Cote. Uh, this thugs, of course. Uh, Look, comrades. Chief Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops if I were you. Oh man, I really appreciate that, dude. In honor of your sub, celebrate my pay raise. Dude, I really appreciate that, dude. And congrats on the pay raise, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. Here we go. Okay. Hikaru's defenders should be at the end of this trench. The gallery feels a death of us, but we must hold. And look. We are not alone in this fight. Max out all my ammo, make sure we're good to go. a ladder oh we've been streaming for what a little over an hour 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 and 15 minutes or Focus so on the machine not very long take them down and regardless boy yeah baby what's going no on different from our own yes chaplain watch each other's backs dismissed our soldiers are ready they will defend the cool route from below but from above. Oh, how long have I been streaming? Like two, oh like God. probably like two and a half years. Where did you get it? One Almost. Of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. So McPherson, uh, definitely, I appreciate the super check. Definitely, um, if you're, for a non-souls player. Um, it's a great game. It is hard though, dude. So uh, you could always oh, no. test the cheaper Souls game first, see if you even like Souls. The cool root is upon us. Our struggle demands new blood, new leaders. Release the quarry. Approach! All who take down a machine shall be named Marshal. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. Yeah, I'm on a PS5 right now. With a capture card. It's a hell of a machine there to take down. Is that a sawtooth or a ra ravager? Yeah, we got a big Hold ass them gun, back. dude. Defend the cool
that's not... that a roller back I killed like 90% of the machines. There. What is that? I don't know. Hold the defenses. Go. Oh, my God. 
I'm in position. Let's bring this thing down. Acid. So it's, I'll take it. It's not like a chain reaction thing. What was that, dude? Better go off the ground. Some shots on the venom. Oh shit, there we go. Go. 
Kamala went after Hikaru and Katolo. I gotta get to them. Got some really good uh mods too. Champion! Get to the chief! Go! Get to the chief! Probably donated ten dollars. Probably this watched isn't like finished. twenty saw two vids for I'll you be in the back last with month. Everything thank I you had. for the content. Probably thank you and so much for that, dude. With Hikaru, I really appreciate we'll that. We'll be run red. At attention, you fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. Was I was I supposed to go down the ladder? There, that console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Now to get this back to Gaia. Oh, then we gotta see what's down here first. The world has changed. The words of the ten are now clear to us. Oh, it's just other people talking. All of the visions are changed. And this one just arrived. Everest, thank you so much for the sub. Whoops. Wrong button. Please 
Please, Aloy. Come here. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water. Herman, thank you so much for the sub. Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. There it is. There's that salute. And I mean, I, I can respect it. You know what I mean? I can, I, can, I can respect it. I've seen I've seen some worse salutes. Those are pretty decent. Arms. I've seen some 90s there. I've seen some 90s. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zo. There's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. About to blow this dude's mind. <laughs> Once we give him a uh, a focus, he's a he's a tribal man through and through. May your enemies All right, fall. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. There's side quests here. The final battle against Regala. My heart hammers for it. So the awesome. I heard Aloy. The one behind the Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. Ammo, hey, you have a good night, but man. Later, dude. I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. 
like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him, convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. The Kavo is the last of my blood. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a Chad, thank you for hanging out, man. ...against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others? The young, especially? <laughs> Care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Cavo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. You said Kavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy. And the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kevo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. All right, so there's the one mission. The other one. Trade, maybe. He has it over the borders. The only Tanaka I know. He's willing to step into the car and land. I don't know. I've heard there are lands beyond them. Blue Devil, thank you so much for the sub, man. The tribe has asked so much of her already. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Ducca. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaru won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. 
and I will award you prizes for victory. Hey, Not that just sounds from awesome. Arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing. If you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the Ballista. Easy enough. Easy enough. Alright, let me see here. So I already have one of the bristleback tusks, and I gotta go to the rollerback site. I, I actually just seen one of those rollerbacks over, and uh, they actually attacked. The proving, so or the, the, this event. And I think I saw a herd of bristlebacks not far from here. There's the tusk right there. There it is. All the tusks I need. Now I just have to find that rollerback Kala mentioned. Get the part she needs to fix the ballista at the arena. So these rollerbacks, I didn't actually fight one up close. Um, I only had to fight it from a distance, so this could be a little more uh, difficult because it was a pretty big machine. I appreciate you guys for getting me to hey up to 200 likes. Seriously amazing. I really appreciate it. I should take a look at the leader's body before I go. My friends have Yeah, so your mount still fights with you, yep. So I actually haven't really been down in this area yet. That's uh, Daka's mission right there. Gotta go that way to get to it. Do not climb.
roll her back. Just like Kola said. Gonna have to take it down. Alright, let me see. So I can hit it from behind on these. Um explodes when destroyed. Could detach the tail. So I think I'm going to try to explode that uh, pack thing on the back there. And then detach the tail. I might be able to destroy it in one hit if I use my um, super powerful arrow out of my sharp shot bow here. My stamina is low. Got an acid container underneath them. On his tail. It's over. Time to salvage that thing. Just what I need. There. I should get back to Kala. Hand over the parts. That wasn't too bad. All right, let me see here. So we're going to head back up. Minecraft. Think about what's 
next. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this should unlock the um, arena for us. You've come this far. We will so what? I've got the parts you need for the ballista. Excellent. We'll get it fixed up right away, and then the arena will be ready. You're welcome to fight any time. How does it work? Simply speak to me, and I'll arrange a challenge for you. And any medals you win from fighting, you can exchange with me for some of the tribe's very best equipment. Not just from the arena, but also medals won at hunting grounds. Oh, After shit. After upgrading your gear, I think you'll come to favor me over Kala. I'm here to help train our squads. Is that a popularity contest? Good thing for I you. Want to see what she has for sale? I'll take my leave then. Come talk to me if you win or if you have soldiers tags to turn in. Well then, if you'd like to fight in the arena now, we can set it up in no time. I'll come back later. Whenever you want. Don't think I've forgotten about our bet. You own So where's the uh the armor lady? Is this her right here? Got medals. You're worthy. Aloy. Need to turn in some tags or trade some medals. Maybe you want some from hunting grounds or the arena. I found some of the tags you mentioned before. Wait, right, see what she has Good. for sale. The squad mates and families of the deceased will be grateful. Here, a small reward for your efforts, but don't let your guard down. There are still many outposts in the wilds. Here it is, guys. Oh. Look at those stats, dude. So I need what? Fifth. Wait. So how, how many? I don't have any arena medals. Earn more medals and the rewards will be great. How do, how do... Come back when you want to look at some real gear. So the medals that I won from the, well, the, um, the, the hunting grounds, how come I don't have access to those? I've done a couple hunting grounds so far. Let's see how you do against our machines. Yo, this is like a full-blown thing, guys. Legendary. Oh, man. Look how many different levels. So there's amateur, intermediate, skilled, expert, and legendary. The arena is always open to you. But, so why, do, why does it say I have no medals? Man, she has some good stuff. What can I do for you, Aloy? I know I've done two hunting grounds already so far. Oh, sorry. No problem. I could totally do legendary. I doubt that. <laughs> so I earned stripes at the hunting ground, and I thought they said something about medals. Oh, hunting ground for blue weapons. Jesus Christ, look at these weapons. The Death Seeker's Shadow. 
A legendary hunting bow. All right. Maybe we just need to earn... Those medals will earn you glory and gear. Last Radical, thank you so much for the sub. So I guess maybe the best way to earn medals is in the arena? Of course. Good luck. Wayne, my day was pretty good, man. Yeah, weapon stamina is definitely pretty important. Ready to test your skills in the arena? All right, here we go. We'll try it. We'll try amateur. I mean... Okay, so, uh, pack hunters. So let's see what this is. This is a challenge. This challenge locks, uh, in all the gear you're currently equipped, all ammo and items that you use will be restored. Um, max time, 2 minutes 30 seconds. I get three medals for this. I have to kill three scrappers and two cloth riders. What?! How was that one star difficulty in two minutes and 30 seconds? I see the power. That, that's not easy, guys.
on, dude. You really got in the way? I feel like I, I needed more than three medals for that. <clears throat> Ravager and... Man, how are these easy, dude? So we gotta kill one long leg and one Ravager. Um, best thing would be to, to try to get the Ravager cannon off. Machines!
that not enough to take out the damn cannon? Didn't get the damn cannon. Hey, Joseph, thank you for hanging out tonight, man. See, the problem is, is they threw in a bunch of fucking extra machines. It didn't say anything about the, 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 the burrowers. Never a dull moment when you're in the arena, champion. Better ready yourself. Yo, I can't even imagine how hard these are gonna get. Like, just in skilled, there's one of the mammoth things. Like, these look like Apex machines. Guys, how hard does this get? Like, be, be, be honest. Our machines will be here waiting for you. That's dope. I can't even imagine. That's that's so much cooler than, than like the hunt. Oh my god. But so hard. It gets hard, like crazy hard. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, it would be yes. <laughs> Uh, so put it this way, just the first level is hard. Like, that's supposed to be amateur? That shit was hard. That's crazy. Yeah, that, it was. it was really, really hard. Well, we got to go down here and help this, uh... Sleety. The ten stood firm. So will we. And it's cool you don't use up your resources while you're in there. Swift victory, my friend. Walk in times of peace. Shit, that right there was hard enough, man. Has anybody in chat, um, has anybody in chat done any legendary yet? I feel like that'd be so, like, I don't think anybody's done legendary yet. There's no way, dude. I mean, I can't say that. There's some ridiculous people in this world.
Almost 250 likes, everybody. Thank you so much. Aloy, the outpost is just over there. Are you ready? The rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. The bloodshed won't end until Regala is defeated. What matters is... Zach, what's going Kava. on? Maybe she knows where Kavo's squad went. Okay, let's head in then. There are already videos on Legendary Arena? That's insanity. Hitman Absolution. We played Hitman Absolution on Twitch, uh, Titan. But, um, we got a lot of games, man, that we got to make our way through. And hit, uh, that is definitely not on the top of the list. We got a lot of Assassin's Creed games and stuff like that. Uh, oh, Fallout. Three, you know, Fallout New Vegas. Them from causing any more harm. Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, there's so many other games that I already have on the list. Bioshock. But who knows? Hitman could make a uh, return at some point, though. But we got a lot of stuff on the list already. Data to override that machine might be in another cauldron. There's a leader. So we're coming through like the back side here. It's like super chill over here compared to <laughs> that that way. I'll wait here. Come, Aloy. Back to the task at hand. Fucked. I'll rest here until you return. Yeah, this one's dead. We need to search. Swing a bit too still, but the tank. Be careful, okay? We do not forgive. To arms! Battle! Get over there! Get eyes on her! Look everywhere, turn every stone! 
Focus failed me. Acid. Got it. Get in there. There, now he's got acid burn or whatever. I'll rest here until you return. So we still got the main dude? Oh uh, yeah, I'd be dying like dude, Derek. Come, Aloy. Back to the task at hand. Okay. Okay. It's clear. That's all of them. Our scout said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. Get this from my stash when I need it. Scan. Strange. Planks of wood with nothing on top of it. There. That's the post. Oh, no, Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. On this thing down here. What is it? I think there might be something under here. Take my hand, Nakala. 
I might be able to Steady find Nicola's tracks with my focus. Where am I? Chaplin? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? <sighs> Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet! We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. Maybe my focus can help here. Sounds like the lady's in, uh, in denial. How are those? What are they doing? Are they solar panels? You guys see that? Oh man, wow, this area looks really nice. Totally going the wrong way, too. So we got to be careful there's a stalker sight ahead. We'll just speed through it. There he is. Oh, there's a lot of them. out here without the cover of the jungle
Acid Claw Strider? Or Claw Strider? And we found some Bellow Backs. There's Fall's Edge. Deca should be waiting for me in there. Start, it's starting to look like we're starting to find some of that jungly ass area. Are these bad guys or good guys? What are these? Okay, so they're not rebels here. Listen to him, Aroke. Not a chance. He's a traitor. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke. I am Shest. Leader of Falls. Thank Edge. you so much for the stub. So I do appreciate the it. Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo then, my grandson, and a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan, your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaro. Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the desert and sky clans, we stand behind him without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaro's support from the Lowland Clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the Rebels... I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there.
Yo, this is actually quite the damn side quest. Holy crap. Have I heard of a game called Kenshi? Yeah, I've seen it before. I've never... Uh, Bad Wolf Rose donated $5. You seem to be getting a lot of support for this game, Detroit Become Human. I think it's one you should add to the list of games to play again. Detroit? Oh, that's already on the list from, uh, for Caspi. That's uh, one of the games Caspi wants me to play. Okay, I, I, Bad Wolf, I really do appreciate the, the, the donation. I really do. Thank you. They should be here already. Going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. Whoever showed up, Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. All this sweat, and I'm still not cooling off. It's a pretty good chest. Wait, did I not fully revive this thing? There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. There it is, baby. Get up, dude. See me rolling. They hating. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we're stuck. Shit. I got myself stuck, guys. All right, hold on. Let's, let's take it out. Exit out. There it is. Oh, that was good stuff. Oh. Now that's that that's that's how it's that's that's what the game was intended to be like. As intended, baby. As intended. Oh, not now you're okay. All right, hold on. Before we jump into this, I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick. Then I gotta let the dogs out. They're freaking.
Oh, right here. My dog was sitting here on the side of me, just hounding me to let her outside. <laughs> Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Up this way. Hey, Sarah, good night. Thank you for hanging out. The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. everyone no rebels no machine what did i think oh out of the ten if that thing runs to falls edge the village stands no chance then we stop them right here on your lead aloy nothing will stand in our way now you have your gear we march on Saturday. you strike true now let's finish These behemoths, dude, get away from me, bro. This thing has no chill, dude. What the hell? And I'm taking chip damage now from these damn archers.
Got lucky I was able to get that damn machine off me for a second. Another big shot coming up here. This should do a ton of damage. There it is. Oh, we did it. So let me see here. I want to see if I can go ahead and change out some mods. Um, yeah, this is the hunter bow I'm using, right? Reload speed, agility damage. Yeah, we can increase draw speed, but I, th I feel like that, that bow already shoots pretty fast. Oh yeah, we scan yeah, we scanned uh the behemoth. That was one of the big bads from the uh the first game. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. Mm. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning. You saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. Uh, I guess. I cracked some ribs. Do. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Decca know what happened. My man was actually telling the truth. Decca's got a good, uh, a good sense for things. Go check in the cave here, see if there's any goodies. Well, these are weapons. Yeah, if we would have lured it in here, we could have blown it up with some of this stuff.
And again, guys, I really do appreciate almost 300 likes on the live stream. Thank you so much. Yo, she really took his place. Like she wasn't lying. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. <clears throat> He's loyal to the lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Fall's Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. Oh, wow. wow. We just got a um, epic level or a very rare tripcaster. Wow, it's a really, really good weapon. All right, so we got that mission done. Um, definitely moved pretty far west, as you guys can see. I mean, still not even to the edge, but we moved pretty far west. Let's head back over to um, this area and let's turn in this machine we found. Or the Aether. The piece of Gaia. So shield wire can be fired from... Sir what? I was wondering what that was. It looked weird. But there's a thing called shield wire now. That you could shoot... Oh, can I not set it up here? Get the fuck out of here, dude. No way. Did you guys see that shit? I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. So you can literally set up your own shield. Shoot from behind it. Boom, boom. Take cover. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. You. Let me take a look at you, stranger. Ooh, that says I can't do anything. Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. If I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Gauntlet runs? All right, how the hell do we get back in this place? Yeah, that, that shield thing's pretty cool, though. 
definitely so many new uh, weapons in this game. Okay, we gotta go up this way, I believe. Really turns you into like, like it supports so many different play styles. You know what I mean? Like, I, I guarantee there's people that play just completely different from each other, have such like diverse inventories of weapons. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough. We I don't have a mount call. Happen. You have to get you a mount, Mandy. Um, get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. If it's red out, that means you just don't have a mount and you, you gotta go out and claim a new one. Catalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Wow. Uh-oh. There it is. <laughs> Oh. oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Mandy, that's weird, yeah, because if you scroll your inventory like I am now with the D-pad, um, like yeah, I got the mount call button. Unless you're, what part of the game are you in? Um, You don't unlock your mount until like later in the game, so you might be at a point right now. How far in the game are you, Mandy? Cause I don't believe I got my mount until you hit the open world. But the first like four hours, of the three hours of the game, you don't get the mount. Yeah, until you get to um. Oh wow! Oh, that might just be a bug then, Mandy. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready. Please merge ether. That's with weird. Me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. All right, hold on. Give me one sec, guys. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Eleuthia frequency. Eleuthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. 
Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were Might be those, um, those futuristic people. Get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. Silence. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Emma, welcome back. So those stamina upgrades are definitely really, really big. Um, definitely want that. I think I got them all. So I'm able to use my specials like pretty frequent. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. So the Ten carried their visions with them. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Finish the game? Your I don't even know. I, no, I don't think we're close to the end of the game Vision by at all. You keep in this place. Gaia. And gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything. But all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. Kuru, what's up, dude? What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. 
This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines that answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit, it is strange to see an Utaru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Ever played XCOM? No, I've never played XCOM. I, I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. Looks like this room's changed. Hey, Nora, what is going on? Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Holograms? Gaia, I thought you said the data here... Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Oh. Take what you need. They got a workbench in here. Looks like someone's made this space somewhere. Out. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. Oh. They really did make a nice room. Where's this workbench? There it is. So we got this. Oh man. Yeah. Five upgrade levels on that trip caster. That's pretty insane. Outfit we're wearing is fully upgraded. And then, like I said, this Tanakh martial armor, we can't even do anything with yet. Realistically, what I need to do is just get good and like burn through a ton of those. Um, Burn through a ton of the uh, arena challenges. All right, let me see here. So, what missions do we have? said <laughs> there she is almost 300 likes guys thank you i do appreciate it again let's go look at us three battle-hardened badasses so this mission actually unknown. put the this other missions on hold This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? What the hell? 
Well, that takes the keg. They broke past their shield. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Obviously, more Zeniths than we know about. So that, yeah, I was gonna say that was. Almost didn't make it. Oh, this is. So that's the Stalker's dart gun. I don't mind getting my hand on her freaking weapon, dude. Could you imagine if we had an arm blaster like that? It took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. Could you imagine how cool, like, I'm pretty sure they're not going to give us a weapon like that, but that it'd be cool if we, if we did get something like that. Get some of them far zenith weapons, the end Spectre game. had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. What a mess. An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. That weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend.
Complete a data point? What, what data point? I left word in the dawn. If the others are wasn't it? This one. What? Hello, Verbena. What do you have for me? I checked everywhere, still no sign of the asset. Can we call off this pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. So you silence. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers to do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. Far, far back left, you scan. stash later. Really good crates out here. That's a long way down. Oh, something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That Zenith the Rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That Zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of 
old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Guys, thank you so much for 300 likes. some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. <laughs> the, dog, no. <laughs> the dog icon. Gotta give him a little... a little... No, that's, uh... That's the mount symbol. <laughs> Ooh, actually, let me, uh, now that I'm here, let me, uh, craft some of these. <laughs> what is this? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthia is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Then why were the Zeniths still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. What's that code that Gaia got sent two seven three? Check back here really quick. Yeah, this is a Horizon Forbidden West. This is the sequel to the Horizon Zero Dawn. All this stuff. Wonder what they were doing here. Well, now I'm far zenith. Find it. Anything that might Probably tell us what the amazing asset is? things. I don't think so. This 
place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. Which is crazy, because if they couldn't find it, what the hell makes so, them think um, I'm going to be able to find it? How is Erin taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. Aaron's the most loyal, dude. The control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Send this to my stash. Everything's just going to our stash. That was the point of coming to this room. There was nothing in there. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Aloy, it's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head, but why? I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Veda. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. Oh, shit. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. No, no, no. I gotta fight one of them specters? I'll protect her. I should prepare before the specter gets here. No, dude, we're not ready for that. I can't get through to Varl on the clone. What? 
Wrong thing. Here it comes. Ooh, ugly one, are you? Shit. Okay. Okay, we got it. I should scan that thing. See if All right, so we got a Spectre, guys. These are super futuristic advanced machines made by Far Zenith, as you guys can see. These things are no joke. Um, so it has a pulse cannon on the back, which is detachable. Uh, I can use it after it comes off. Uh, it's got a shock unit there on the front. Resource, regener- oh shit. It says it's indestructible, but you can remove it. See if I can draw it into the trap here. Perfect. Not fooled. I can switch it up. That was a big hit right there.
There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Hit him hard right there. Like hit him really hard right there. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. Oh, shit, dude, I'm not ready for all I just that. Just hope Aaron stays in cover. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Just craft it up real quick. Errand, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. By the second you need me, I'm there. Oh, Spectre's not budging from that spot. I won't be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. I need to sneak around behind it. It's going to fight if I take the thing. A heavy weapon. That can help. A heavy weapon. We could use it against the Spectre. Hopefully this thing does mega deeps. The um... Stalkers generally do do a lot of damage with their firearm, with their weapon.
Actually, acid is doing pretty good. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. That was pretty dope. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all. I'll stash this away for later. Where a weapon fell off the specter. But I don't see that on the ground anywhere. Did any of you guys see that? Um, right at the end of the cutscene, you seen like the specter's gun fall on the ground. Well, that was the other weapon that the Osram shot at the Far Zenith woman. But when I killed that specter, oh, it was nothing. Oh, okay. Cause yet you seen how they like showed it fall on the ground. I thought I could like pick it up or something, you know. Dan donated ten dollars. No. Dan, thank you so much for the donation, man. Seriously, thank you. Well, it's better than nothing. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Dan, again, thank you, man. Hey, there's two of you now. Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but... By the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue-tied. 
I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. So said that, uh... They were in the maintenance room, I believe, down below. Aloy! Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Primitive? Oh, she just called our technology primitive. Booting up. So, uh, hey boy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made on the way to Earth, on the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface, all so that I could serve my function, access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. They resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always 
Do what he says. Eric. He's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. Damn, so they, they sent the signal to Earth to try to just do it. And when that failed, they had to come, and now they got to kind of manually do it. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in a biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. I don't know. For some reason, I'm still feeling like she's... She might be setting us up. But I don't know. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only 
only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, th the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database, before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge, just out of reach, must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! It was you. I didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. I just think she talks a lot. see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core, ostensibly this was to prevent the weapon secrets from falling into enemy hands. That's to be silence. Design this weapon knew <clears throat> how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. Nick, thank you so much for the sub, man. Us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. 
I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub-functions to get. Alright, guys. So, we're gonna end it here for tonight. We made some pretty good progress. Um... Oh man, this this is getting crazy. We actually have a side quest in here that we need to uh, take care of. So that that's what we're gonna focus on next episode. Um, we'll start off with this side quest, and then we're gonna start checking the map. I I think there was another side quest in an area that I wanted to go hit, and uh, we're just gonna keep it going. Definitely gonna keep it going. So uh, 329 likes. I really do appreciate it, everybody. Um, I really appreciate the support, Chaco. Thank you so much for the sub. Uh, you guys showed mega love today. Uh, but if you haven't, I, on your way out, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We'll be doing some more live streams tomorrow. Uh, not exactly sure what I'll be playing. I have a whole slew of games. Might be doing some more cyberpunk because I need to chop some people up with them uh, mantis blades. Uh, but again, guys, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. every single one of you. And uh, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys tomorrow. Peace.